Welcome back. In this video, we'll introduce the use of the controls that turn your patterns into parametric templates. Templates uses two types of controls. Template point controls are used to reposition template points. These are the extenders and constraints found in the template point group on the controls ribbon. Element controls are used to modify the elements between template points. They're in the element group on the ribbon. This tutorial will cover the use of template point controls. First, a few important concepts. A point in a plane can move in the x direction without affecting its y value, or in the y without affecting its x value. Since two dimensions are enough to specify a point's position, we say that point has two degrees of freedom. Those two dimensions don't have to be x and y. Distance from another point can also specify position. We'll use a triangle to illustrate this. We can locate the apex point on this triangle by specifying its x and y values like this. Or we could locate the apex using the distance from opposite endpoints like this. We could also use a combination of either x or y and distance from another point like this. In each of these cases, we use two controls to position the apex. Since we have two degrees of freedom, a third control could conflict with one of the other two. Since a point has two degrees of freedom, no more than two controls can end on a point, but there is no limit to the number of controls that can start on a point. Extenders are used to move template points to their final positions. They're the controls you'll use most often. Extenders have an anchor point end and a moving end, which is shown with an arrow. The moving end always moves relative to its anchor end. So the final position for a template point is the final position of its anchor point plus its controls. We'll start by adding a horizontal extender control to the base of this triangle. Begin by selecting at least one of your patterns. This activates the controls on the ribbon. Now we can select the horizontal extender control. Snapping happens automatically. When your mouse is close enough to a template point, you'll see that point light up. The first point you click establishes the anchor point. The controls visual will follow your mouse until you click on the moving point. Move your mouse to position the control where you want it and then click again to finish. While the new control is still selected, you can link it with a parameter name from the drop-down in the tool window. It's good practice to think through how you plan to build your template before you begin a project. This will let you enter all the variables and parameters you plan to use before you add controls. If your plans change, it's easy to add or change your parameter links later. For this pattern, we'll also add a horizontal extender from the same anchor point to the apex and link it to offset. Then, we'll add a vertical extender to the apex and link it to height. We'll click Apply to see the result. We could also reposition the apex point by using distance extenders. Distance extenders set the final distance from the anchor point to the moving point without specifying a direction. For this example, we'll add a distance extender named left side from the left end of the base to the apex, and another from the right end of the base to the apex. Be careful when you use distance extenders, since it's possible to enter values that don't meet at a point. For example, if we enter left side and right side variables that add up to less than the base, we'll see this error message. The pattern will be grayed out, and when you click inside it, the problem point will turn red. We'll change the left side distance to 22 to correct the problem, and now when we click on apply variables, our data is valid again. You can use distance controls in combination with horizontal or vertical controls. We'll remove the left side distance control and add a horizontal extender instead. 
we'll link our new control to the variable offset, and we'll click Apply to see the results. Let's go back to the original pattern and then replace the right side distance control with a vertical extender. We'll link it to our variable height and then apply variables to check our results. Using distance controls in combination with horizontal or vertical extender controls gives you powerful options for constructing your templates. Constraints are the other controls you'll use frequently. We'll begin with a rectangular pattern. We've already applied horizontal and vertical extenders to the base and height of this rectangle. When we apply variables, the top right template point doesn't move, so our pattern is no longer a rectangle. We could add two more extenders to fix the problem, like this. Alternatively, we can ensure that the pattern maintains its rectangular shape by adding constraints. Constraints are fast and simple and help create uncluttered templates that are easy to read. Using the horizontal constraint tool, we'll click to anchor the constraint at the moving end of the height control, then set it on the diagonal point. Move your mouse to position the control where you want it, and then click again to finish. A constraint holds a moving point at the same horizontal or vertical position as its anchor point. Since their only purpose is to match their moving point to their anchor point, they don't need to be linked to a parameter. In the same way, we'll anchor a vertical constraint at the moving end of the width control. I'll click to anchor, then to set, and finally to position the new control. Now when we apply variables, the pattern holds its rectangular shape. You can select a control and reposition it at any time while you're working on a template. As templates get more complex, this can help you create cleaner, more organized templates. Extenders and constraints will be the controls you use most frequently. For example, these insulation and spa cover patterns were built using only extenders and constraints. In the next video, you'll see how to use element controls to fine-tune more complex templates.